Welcome to Math We Know. Solve this equation. Square root of x and plus square root of negative x is equal to two. Strange, isn't it? Now, what should we do? Of course, we all know that the numbers which are under the square root are always non-negative. That means x is non-negative. X is always greater than or equal to zero. Non-negative. The same rule for negative x, because it is also under the square root. It is also non-negative. Negative x should always greater than or equal to zero. Now, what should we do? From here, we can divide it by negative one on the both sides, and you can get x should smaller than or equal to zero. But in our first case, x is non-negative. In our second case, x is non-positive. What does it mean? If x is greater than or equal to zero, and at the same time it should also be smaller than or equal to zero, that means x is equal to zero. But if you substitute x is equal to zero in our original equation, and you can find out that zero plus zero is not equal to two, it is wrong. It's false. So what does it mean? It means this equation doesn't have any real roots. Although there aren't any real roots, we can solve this equation continually. As our first step. We shall subtract the square root of negative x on the both sides. What's on the left hand side is square root of x. The thing which on the right hand side is two minus square root of negative x. And then, what should we do? Of course, our only choice is. Square on the both hand sides, and then for the left hand side, square root of x all squared, it will become x in our next step. And the right hand side, two minus square root of negative x all squared. We can use the formula a minus b all squared is equal to a squared minus two ab then plus b squared. This formula you must memorize. Of course, the left hand side will become x. The right hand side, a minus b all squared. A is two. B is the square root of negative x. A squared two squared is four. Minus two times a b. That is two times two then times square root of negative x. That is minus four times square root of negative x. Then plus b squared, since b is square root of negative x, so b squared is negative x. Then plus negative x, it is minus x. Yes. Add an x, and at the same time we shall subtract four. X plus x is two x, and then minus four, it is two x. Minus four is equal to the right hand side negative four then times square root of negative x. We should divide it by two on the both hand sides. Two x the minus four divided by two it will become x minus two. Negative four divided by two, negative two. But we have a problem. There's still a square root. We'll remove it. What should we do? We should take a square on the both sides again. So here, it is x minus two all squared is x squared then minus four x then plus four. 
is equal to. Negative 2 squared is 4, and square root of negative x squared is equal to negative x. Then it is negative 4x. So, so you can see that negative 4x, negative 4x. It appears on the both sides, so cancel. And then, what should do? What's left? x squared, then plus 4, is 0. Very good. Our next step is x squared is equal to negative 4. Just subtract 4 on the both sides. And then, our last step, x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 4. But we know that square root of negative 4 is an imaginary number. It is equal to 2 times i, where i is the imaginary unit. So the answer to this question is x is equal to positive or negative 2 times i. And i is equal to square root of negative 1. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.